and lecture exams today we going we are going to study from uh, module 4 uh, module 4 consists of data structure uh, ob object oriented programming language and software engineering uh, programming with java and software engineering okay today we are, we are going to start from data structure the first question is which is asked in 2005 previous question which is a uh, previous question question number 1 a non linear data structure uh, from among the set given below is option a q option b stock option c linked list option d tree which is very easy and simple question you can answer it correctly okay just think about it the correct option is option d tree okay tree is a non-linear data non-linear data structure and q stack and linked list are linear data structures and we'll move on to the quick uh, idea about data structure and uh, what are non and non-linear and linear data structures data structures a data structure is a data organization management and storage format that enables efficient access and modification more precisely a data structure is a collection of data values the relationship among them and the functions or operations that can be applied to the data you can read it uh, from wikipedia or any other website okay it's a simple definition and different kind of data structures used to different kind of application when, for example relational data database uses b3 indexes for data retrieval and compilers usually use hash tables to look up identifiers b3 and you hash tables are different set of data structures you already know that right okay uh, you can ask this question also relational database uses b3 indexes and uh, uh, compilers uses hash tables to look up identifiers which can vary but usually uh, these two uses these data structures okay for data retrieval data retrieval and lookup interface and data structures can be used to organize the storage and retrieval of information stored in both main memory and secondary memory you know and data structure is classified into linear and non-linear data structures examples of linear data structures are array linked list stack queue and examples of non-linear data structures are graph tree be in trees there are binary search trees there heap trees there uh, and b plus trees there b trees there there are many trees okay these are all non-linear data structures and linear data structures are array linked list stack queue okay and what we what we know about data structure is data structure is an organization management and storage format that enables the relationship uh, sorry that uh, enables efficient access and modification we can use this we can use this data structure to access and uh, modify the datas okay a large amount large amount of datas data structures can be used to organize the storage and retrieval of information stored in both main memory and secondary memory okay we are going to the, move on to the next question question number two data structures that can implement a recursive procedure is option a tree option b linked list option c q option d stack data structure that can implement a recursive procedure is which data structure used to used in this recursive procedure this also has been a previous question which is a 2015 question okay the option is d stack and uh, a simple idea about stack stack and uh, recursive procedures is hmm, and a, in a direct recursion the procedure calls itself and in direct recursion the first procedure calls a second procedure which in turn calls the first procedure that means uh, for example if you use a factorial which is a recursive uh, i'm using a recursive procedure for the factorial uh, fa we can find the factorial using n factorial is equal to n star into n n into n minus 1 factorial this is a factorial equation n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial and the basic condition is n factorial is equal to 1 if n is equal to 0 or n or n is equal to 1 and we are using finding factorial of 5 here what is the factorial of 5 which is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 is equal to 120 that is what 5 into factorial of 4 that is we are using the recursive procedure that is n factorial that is y factorial is equal to 5 5 into 4 factorial n into n minus 1 factorial see 5 into n minus 1 that is 4 factorial again we have to find in recursive procedure they will store this in the stack of the first uh, stack and then 4 factorial is equal to what 4 into that is n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 so 4 into n minus 1 is 3 3 factorial again this is storing what stack and we are moving on to next 3 factorial is equal to 3 into n minus 1 that is 2 factorial so it also will be stored in stack and then again what 2 factorial is equal to 2 into n minus 1 that is 1 factorial 
and again we are coming to one factorial one factorial is equal to what which is the basic condition if n is equal to one what is the answer n factor is equal to one so one factor is equal to one then we are going back from here okay we will be taking the first uh, first item in the stack that is one factor is equal to one we are putting it back to here one factorial that is two into one two and then again this two factorial will be putting into two factorial here those answer is three into two so it will be six again three fa this three factorial will be replaced by 6 4 into 6 that is equal to 24 again this 4 factor will be replaced by 24 so 5 into 24 is equal to 120 the answer will be 120 this is how the recursive procedure works and we use stack to find this uh, answer which will be very easy so this is how the stack used to for recursive procedure and another example I can say it recursive function use something called the call stack when a program calls a function the function goes on top of the call stack see this here this function one factor is a function which will call then which will use which will uh, goes on to the top of the call stack and we'll get the answer one factor one from their call top call of the, the from the top stack top of the stack then we'll uh, this insert this one factor answer to this function this is similar to a stock of books you add things on one at a time we'll add one at a time and in a stock of books we'll add one book another book another book then when you are ready to take something off you you always take of the top item we have to take the top item then only we can insert another item it's the same way they are adding this four factorial three factorial two and one factorial we'll get the answer from one factorial from there then two into one will in insert one factorial here then we'll move on another then we get the top of the stack as this then again we'll get the top of the stack as four factorial and in the same way we'll get the answer okay this is how the recursive call procedure works okay and thank you